African leader Kamla Prasad Bisesa has criticized the government for failing to address the crime situation during the budget presentation on Monday. But Minister of Youth Development Foster Cummings said the opposition's experience in the crime fight is well documented. Sinalala reports. Opposition leader Kamla Prasad Bisesa started a response to the budget by laying into the government's plan for crime, which she said left much to be desired. Even as we are here comfortably ensconced in this chamber, talking highfalutin talk about the economy, some innocent citizen will be robbed and murdered. There is a war on the outside. Criminals are at war with innocent citizens whom the government have left for themselves. But Minister of Youth Development and National Service Foster Cummings challenged the opposition to outline its track record which involved the cancellation of the OPVs and said, The ones that stand out, the one that stands out the most is the state of emergency that the UNC used as a crime-fighting initiative, arresting thousands of urban youths. Mrs. Passat Bissessa said government continued to mislead the population with its promises, noting that there was no new plans to push back against criminal elements. She also expressed disappointment at not getting a response from the Prime Minister on the crime talks between both parties. I thought maybe at first they did not share them because maybe in the budget they were coming to share them. But there are no tangible, no new crime fighting issues. Minister Cummings, though, defended government, saying the long-term strategy lies in his ministry's several youth programs like Mylat, Shade House and Yap, which tackles crime at the core. Every year it is the same type of response, the same type of scare tactic, with no commitment to the development of this country or the development of the citizens of this country. Sonolala, TTD News.